Meantime, somber day tomorrow as we mark 19 years since the 9-11 terror attacks. Students at a local high school who hadn't even been born at the time have kept the vow that we never forget. CBS 2's Christina Fan reports from Cedar Grove, New Jersey. No matter rain or shine or a global pandemic, every year at Cedar Grove High School, students meticulously place 2,977 flags in honor of the lives lost on September 11th. When you place a flag in, you can see like each name plaque and it really attaches you to like that person. All the students here, including senior Samantha Kniff, were born in a post 9-11 world. They don't share the same painful and vivid memories we have of the attacks, but know the day changed America forever. Seeing the vastness of this tribute helps them realize why. Sometimes I'm at a loss for words. Like, I can't even imagine what it's like to have almost 3,000 people die at one time. It's crazy to think about, and it's really shocking. The project, called Cedar Grove Wave, started six years ago when Board of Education Vice President David Schoner realized the magnitude of the tragedy was fading with each new generation. We made a promise to those people 19 years ago that we would not forget. We would not forget them. And the way we do that is by educating the people that were too young, the kids that were too young, about what happened. Sophomore Michael Willis is now part of that new generation, vowing to remember not just those who passed, but also the heroes who emerged. The first responders who ran into the smoke and ran into the fire and the uh, collapsing buildings, uh, risking their lives and losing their lives to save other people. The display of flags, a symbol of these students' resolve to keep history alive. In Cedar Grove, New Jersey, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. And for this year's ceremony, two trees will be planted to honor the lives of the two victims from Cedar Grove. Join us tomorrow as we remember those we lost on 9-11. We'll have complete live coverage of the commemoration ceremony beginning at 825 in the morning right here on CBS2 and streaming on CBSN New York.